In a previous video, I said that if you have an implicit equation, you can still find the derivative dy dx if you pretend that y is a function of x. Let's try to make that cryptic statement less cryptic with some examples. This process is called implicit differentiation. And example one will be the example we started with in the previous video, I mean. X squared plus Y squared equals four. Let's find the derivative of y with respect to x. I am going to differentiate both sides of this equality. Differentiate the left hand side. Differentiate the right hand side. The derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. And of the two derivatives, sorry, the three derivatives that I have written down, two of them don't really require any comment. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of a constant is zero. What about y squared? Well, remember that I said to pretend that y is a function of x. So I'm using function notation to drive that tone. Now, suppose you wanted to differentiate this. You now have a composition. This squaring is an outside function. This y of x is an inside function. And the chain rule says to take the derivative of the outside side function with the inside function stuck inside of it times the derivative of the inside function. But what is the derivative of the inside function? We don't know. That's exactly what we're trying to find out. So 2 times y squared times this derivative, whatever this derivative might be. And now our goal is to find dy dx. dy dx is showing up in this equation. Let's solve for it. dy dx equals negative 2x. 
Now, this time for real dy dx equals negative 2x over 2y. Our 2 is cancel, and we get dy dx equals negative x divided by y. And notice that our derivative involves two variables now, x and y instead of just x. And that makes sense if we think about it. Suppose we have x equals one, and we ask, what is the slope of the tangent line at x equals one? Well, that is a question without an answer. The slope of the tangent line could be the slope of this line, or it could be the slope of this line. Now let's ask, what's the slope at one comma the square? Square root of three. That's this point here. This point down here is one negative the square root of three. And asking the derivative at this point makes perfect sense, and we can plug these into this equation and get dy dx is negative 1 over the square root of 3. So it's normal and expected did to do implicit differentiation and wind up with both x's and y's.